and welcome back to the Looking Stylish YouTube channel. Today I want to talk to you about how to create a colour scheme for your capsule wardrobe. I have a couple of methods that I use when I'm creating a capsule wardrobe for one of my clients and today we're going to use one of those methods. I've got Gladys here dressed in neutrals because every capsule wardrobe does need some neutrals in it. So let's get started and I'll show you how I do it. I'm going to start this colour scheme with a favourite colour and that's one of the methods that I will use with my clients, either a favourite colour or a colour that we know suits them really well. So in this example I'm using this salmon colour that Gladys is now wearing. And the first thing that you need to think about is whether you can actually get hold of that colour in the season because obviously there are seasonal colours that you tend to see a lot in the shops. So when you're thinking about an accent colour for your capsule wardrobe, try not to be too definite about having an exact colour. Have a look at what's around and use what you've got available to you. So I've started with salmon for this capsule wardrobe. So I need some neutrals that I know are going to go well with that. And for this particular example, I've used this um, soft white. What you can't see is that she also has a pair of trousers on in the soft white. So when I first started the video, she was dressed completely in neutrals with this little cami on underneath. And now I've changed it up a little bit and put that first colour into the capsule. So what do you need in each of the colours? Well, with your neutrals, you want three to four pieces and I would suggest that if it's a corporate capsule you're creating, one for business, you would probably need at least two neutrals and then you would perhaps go for less accent colours. If it's a casual capsule wardrobe like this one is, you can have a little bit more fun with colour because you don't need to be quite so authoritative in your casual wardrobe. So I've used um, the soft white and I'm going to expand on that a little bit by adding in this stone colour for the jacket and then I also have a second pair of trousers in a sort of soft sand colour. So that's given me the pieces in the wardrobe that are in neutrals. I would also add some accessories in the neutrals as well. So I'm going to use this handbag and a pair of neutral shoes. So that's put together all of the neutral pieces for the wardrobe so that I know that any other additional pieces that are in accent colours are going to work with those. I've got two pairs of trousers here, two tops and now two top pieces, the cardigan and the jacket. So that's going to already create several outfits for me by mixing those up. And as you saw previously, I had the pearl necklace in the neutral colour and this time I've got an accent colour. So again, you can change up the outfits by adding different accessories. So what I might add in now is an additional piece in the salmon. A yeah, little problem with the camera there and the SD card saying it was full even though it wasn't but anyway back to what we were talking about. So I was talking about adding extra pieces into the capsule in your accent colour. So for the salmon here I've got a little handbag in that colour as well so with this outfit again I can use either the salmon bag or I can use the neutral handbag. And I've also got a necklace that picks up on the colours as well. Now, the next thing that you might want to do is include a print in your capsule. And prints are a really good idea because you can pick out the colours that are within the print to expand on the capsule. So in this example, I've added another little top this one and you can see it's got the salmon in it but it's also got some other colours in it and the colour that I'm going to use next is the teal colour. So I'm going to add some pieces into the capsule in the teal and when you're adding a colour you want to add at least two and possibly three pieces. So for this example I've obviously got the print that's in that top and then I'm going to add a pair of trousers and another top and some accessories. 
So to go with that top, I've now brought in a pair of teal trousers and you can see that it works with that top. It will also work with the neutral piece and the salmon and it will work with the little camisole that's in neutral as well. So you can see the capsule graying behind me now. So I've got my teal trousers in and I'm now going to add another top. And this one has the teal in it, but it also has the soft white in it. So again, it works in with the pieces in the soft white and it would also work with the soft sand trousers. And those trousers will work in with the pieces here as well. So I'll put some photos in at the end as usual to show you some of these outfits put together. To give me a lot more options I'm now going to add in some accessories as well because obviously with the teal we could still use the soft white accessories, the shoes and the handbag but I'm now going to put in a pair of sandals in the teal as well and I've got a handbag in the mint colour which is in that camisole. But again, that works perfectly well with our teal pieces. And then I'm going to bring in a necklace and a pair of earrings. So as you're building up the colours in your capsule wardrobe, think about what else you can add in to pull the outfits together. So if I was just using the neutral pieces that I started the capsule with, um, the plain camisole, by adding in those sandals, the handbag and the necklace, I'm giving that a completely different look. Now I'm going to add in one more accent here and um, that's another one that's come from this top. And the final accent colours I'm going to add in is yellow. And the yellow does feature in this little camisole, so I could put the cut this yellow cardigan over that camisole. Obviously it would also go over the neutral one and this new yellow top here as well, which will also work underneath the other neutral jacket and underneath the soft white cardigan too. And again, um, I've added two pieces here, but I'm going to add a couple of other accessories as well. So I'm going to put in a pair of yellow shoes and a pair of yellow earrings as well. So we've now got a completed capsule with a couple of neutral colours and we've got several accent colours. We've got some prints in there for interest and we've got some plain colours that all mix and match together. Now if you wanted to expand on this capsule, one really easy way to do it is to add in another neutral colour. So I've very quickly added in a navy cardigan here and I'd also add in a second piece, a navy trousers, possibly a navy handbag and navy shoes as well. And immediately I'm then expanding this capsule by multiple outfits because obviously all of the tops will go underneath the navy cardigan, all of the trousers will go with the navy cardigan and obviously all of the tops will go with the navy trousers. So I hope that's given you some idea of how to pull together colours within your capsule wardrobe. And you can use this same capsule again as a basis for the same time next year. Some of the pieces will still work for you and you can add in either another neutral or whatever the accent colours for that season are. But if you remember to always make sure that you have one to two neutrals in your capsule, then everything else colour wise will go with those neutrals. When you add a colour in, I usually say add two to three pieces in that colour so that you can use it throughout the capsule. And it doesn't have to be an item of clothing, it can be an accessory as I did with the yellow, with the shoes and the earrings.
that that's helped you with figuring out colour schemes. This is just one of the options that I use. I'll come back and make another video about the different method that I use. Um, but there are some resources down in the description box for you. Um, I've popped in there a video which I did about colour. So if you don't know which of your best colours to use as accent colours, that will help you. I've also put a link to our colour dossier service and I've also put a link to our capsule wardrobe site so if you don't want to do it yourself we can do it all for you. But thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments please leave a comment for me below um, and also please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It's always helpful to know what you like so that I can repeat um, that kind of information for you. And uh, finally, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks very much. Bye for now.